Hey there guys and gals, lads and ladies, and welcome to this episode of mm, Containment Sector. Control. Panopticon. Altered item. Maximum security prison. As you probably heard, we're in the containment sector in the Panopticon something something. Let's see what what the former director has to say. Containment sector, the Panopticon, is home to the altered items we find and contain. It is a maximum security prison. It's a vault for the most valuable treasures on Earth. It's a powder keg big enough to blow this world to dust. A temple, a place of worship filled with idols and angry gods. It's all of these, and none of them. It's something more profound, unbelievable. Well, doesn't this describe literally everything we've been going through in the game? Or something worse. Altered items. We've found many. They appear mundane, but nothing could be further from the truth. They are all powerful, dangerous. They press heavy on our minds because that's their nature. They've been altered because we can't stop thinking about them. We put them on altars because they're used to being worshipped. This keeps them calm. We contain them, but they don't want to be controlled. We study them to discover what makes them tick. If this place were ever breached, it would be chaos of biblical. Yeah, not cool. So what are we doing here? Well, in the previous episode, we uh, gathered some black rock. What is that? So we went into the black rock processing sector. We got black rock for uh, Marshall. <coughs> Sorry, cuff still there apparently. And um, then she told us about her brother, who apparently has been taken by the um, Federal Bureau of whatever. Oh, hey, I want to I want to take control of you. And he is being detained in this sector. Ergo, that's why we are here. Come on, let me take control of him! I don't know what exploded, but I can say that I like it. Sheesh, man. It's taken her so long to take control. Yeah, that could have went better. I don't even remember if I um, got everything across. So yeah, we're here for our brother. That's the thing. And basically... They said he is too dangerous to be let out, but um, obviously she, Jesse, still wants to let her brother out. So, object of power, not altered item distinctions. 
While altered items and objects of power may seem similar at first, it's important to note some very key distinctions. Firstly, objects of power grant para-utilitarian para abilities. See file put 812 for an introduction to the subject. Secondly, objects of power translocate anyone who makes physical contact to the astral plane. This is widely believed to be due to the something's affliction with objects of power. Not every individual is allowed in the astral pl plane, which indicates the mm, evaluates who can or cannot enter. Thirdly, and this is not always the case, objects of power are much more perennially don't know than altered items. Looking at the specific criteria that defines an object of power, it is no wonder that they are notably rarer than altered items. In fact, we have none. <laughs> altered items for every object of power contained within the bureau okay sheesh I oh I gotta I gotta change the mission that we're on because I'm not gonna do time sensitive ones okay we got quite a ways to go That's a thing? Must be incinerated immediately. Failure to do so will result in termination and possible bodily harm. Thank you for your attention. Cool. Now I'm curious what could cause that. There's a shelter over here. I mean, I guess it only... Yeah, it only has one of these vaults inside. Oh, that is a lot of guys, man. Are you you I want you on my team that definitely did not go where I wanted to Okay, I'm probably dead here. Or probably not dead here. <sighs> Pretty close to dead. I actually got really lucky. I could have caught those uh, that last guy's um, rocket. I don't know why I don't do it. To be fair, I was trying to, I think, take control of somebody or lifting an item while that guy was shooting at me, so it would have been quite tough to do both of them at the same time. Okay. Um. Probably this way, but what is this way? Just out of curiosity. El Paso. Quite a bit of exploring around here. You know what? I'm gonna look around, see what I find, and if there's anything interesting. Ah, uh, this leads to a whole different area, so now it leads. Oh, crap.
Could you just stop it? Why did these guys respawn? Shouldn't the control point be kind of a safe space? See, so yeah, as I was saying, the way I see it, um, I cannot use my cursor, but going that way unlocks the entire right wing, and we want to go straight ahead. Yeah, okay, let's, let's try to find Dylan. Wall of Honor. Was there nothing in that? Oh, it, it just didn't take it as quickly as it could. Medical wing? I don't want that. I want to get past security, I think. But this doesn't seem... I'm all tangled in that mess. This doesn't seem to be an option. So this looks like the only way. That's not fair, man. I could barely see them because of the writing. Are we done? I need level 6 clearance to get in there, so looks like I'm not getting in there. Nah, nothing to pick up around here. The way I see it, I'm gonna have to go upstairs. A shelter. Come on, did you pick it up? You picked it up. Cool. Cannot go there yet. Thank you. Uh, can I blow this up? Okay, I don't know what this growth is. Aw oh, man, zombie things? No, thank you. Do they blow up or just attack? No! Get out! Get out! Go puke on that other guy! I did not sign off for this, man! <gasps> it's so many of them! It's so many of them! lure them in one at a time in here so this is fine-ish 
Wow, they deal so much damage to each other. I don't know if they deal as much damage to me, though. Anyway, uh, conclusion is I do not like this. Do I get sick by sitting here? Let's read what this is. And then we'll deal with that guy. Autopsy report. The deceased was a some-year-old boy with no significant past medical history. The subject was brought in after being discovered in the active threshold in an early state of decay that is characteristically fungal-based in its appearance. During autopsy, the cadaver's pleural cavities were revealed to be entirely filled by the fungus known as the mold, to an extent that the medical staff were forced to put on decontamination suits. The procedure was also hindered by anomalies such as the deceased's high body temperature and undulating torso muscles, presumably, but not provably, caused by trapped gases. Routine samples as well as tissue samples required, uh, requested by Dr. Underhill were su successfully extracted, however their rapid retrogression outside of the host body needs to be noted. Cause of death, mold ingestion. So... Oh, come on! I was shooting right at him! That answers what happens if I suck a lot of that in. Yay or nay? Doesn't seem to affect me. As much as I thought it would. When the hell did this turn into... No! Don't shoot shit at me! When did this turn into The Last of Us? I, I'd like an indication as to when I'm getting sick. Like, I don't know start coughing or something. Not a meter, per se. This is weird. Can I use the phone to get out of the matrix? Okay, we're clear right now. Where did we pop up? Okay. Presumably on the other side of the security checkpoint. I'm low on health and I don't like that. I'm expecting enemies here. We're not. Okay, yeah, we are on the other side of the security checkpoint. P6 is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Has the Hiss found him? Are you Isn't that just lovely? Uh... I don't feel like exploring or god damn it. I feel like enemies will pop up if I stay around here too long, but then again I should try opening this. Oh, it's a level six clearance. I really want a quick way of getting back to the checkpoint though. You know what, screw it. Let's go for Dylan. Ocean View Motel, here we come. Whoop. Not what I really expected. I need the key. Yeah, I remember.
I don't have my gun in here. Upside down room. Somebody's dying in here. And I'm not dying to find out who's killing him. See what I did there? Don't really get what the puzzle is. Oh, I set the first room right side up. I think. <clears throat> and key. Uh, something's off about the m motel, man. Find Dylan. Oh, okay. This just opened the door. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him. What kind of man he'd grow up to be. Were things as hard for him as they were for me? Maybe in here. They were even harder. I cannot shoot the guy. Oh, friendlies! Hey, Langston. Langston, talk to me. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but... I kind of noticed. You're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon... I don't really want a tour. For all altered items, I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there, and it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV, it's, uh, it's a real doozy. What does it do? Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. I understand. Dylan's in there. Well, first I gotta get a TV, Open the right? Door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first timers not to touch anything, so uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. Thanks. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, sure, Langston. Langston. <laughs> I was sure she was not gonna call him Fred. The sudden stop hits theaters tonight. I can't believe I'm missing an Alex Casey movie for this. Can I ask you some more questions, though? I'm just curious. Yet. No rush or anything. It's just, you know, an ongoing concern. Do you like working at the FBC? Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. I checked. Better health care. <laughs> That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection. You survived for 15 years in here? Close to them, in a way. I can't tell if that's creepy or normal. <laughs> exactly, it's what I was thinking. Okay. How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to the Touches. Leaves, flipping the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. That's pretty accurate. What's the difference between objects? We already and power read about this, but think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. 
Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. <laughs> and how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining, I don't know, knives, knife rain. That, nice metaphor. That would be all the scary. Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them. The inner circle. Not that I care. Trench yeah, you kind of care. His favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no smoking policy? It does. <laughs> Just not for Trench. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent because my uncle knew a guy. From there, I got put on a Obviously. Bath until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. At which point, can't I just say an manage. accident and leave it at that. Eight hours a day for another ten years, and voila, supervisor. I cool. just picked up a gun. <laughs> gun picked me. Yeah, more more that. Cool. Let's go deal with that TV. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like right. always. <laughs> cool. The Panopticon. Dylan's place. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. Um. Damn, this place is big. Guys, I would have liked to go to Dylan today, but things have been progressing pretty slowly so I think I'm gonna call it here because if I'm gonna exit the game five minutes from now it'll just bring me back to here so uh, wait fire break law archives I'm trying to see what three says nothing oh oh no I thought each level had a name or something yeah Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day, have a good night, have a whatever it is, where you're from. See you on the next one. Bye bye.